What's up, YouTube? This is the, your boy, the Black Senpai, and today I'm gonna be recording solo. Well, not today, because earlier me and uh, Omni Dragon actually recorded, and we have a few videos coming up. Um, I might actually upload this video first, just to give you guys a quick heads up. Um, as you guys may or may not, may not know, we've been having problems uploading videos, mainly because the processor that I use to make the videos, for some reason, has been giving me trouble. It uses up all my resources on my computer. My computer can't get the, it's, it seemed like it's running real slow. It tends to take hours to try to process a video. And while it's processing, I can't use anything on the computer. And that's really the main reason why I haven't been able to upload anything. Um, we do have a couple videos that we have made, but we just can't really do anything with them because we can't process them and get them uploaded on YouTube. Um, so until they make an update for Adobe Premium Pro, which is the program I've been using, um, it's probably going to be a little bit longer for me to try to get videos out. And once they release the update that fixes the issue, whatever it may, have, whatever the issue may be then we're gonna be able to upload videos a lot quicker again. But um, until then, I've decided that I'm going to do a few videos by myself because Omni Dragon can't always be in every video that we're in because we're, you know, he has, <laughs> he, he has responsibilities in the family and shit. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> okay, anyway, you know, that, that that's his problem. Um, me and you, we can have fun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get into this new video. It's a video that I'm actually interested in. I didn't even know that they were making something like this, but apparently it is a video about Bruce Lee. So I'm going to go ahead and give you this reaction, uh, let you know what I think about the this movie that I've apparently never heard of, but I'm quite interested in. I'm hoping they release it in uh, American theaters and things like that so that I can go ahead and give you guys a full-on review of it because if you may or may not know, I have the picture right here. Bruce Lee is my shit. Okay, let's get right into it. Someone once told me okay. when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. I came to San Francisco in 1964 hoping to find myself. Okay, I'm trying to see exactly where this takes place. Like this. For a while. Like, what exactly is it about? And acid and free love. But none of that was what I needed. Then one day I wandered into Chinatown and I discovered Kung Fu. Okay, so is this and guy the main hero? Bruce Lee. You're early for class. I'm not here for class. If you're in my doorway, then you're here for class. That's nice and all, but I heard Bruce Lee was charging like $250 an hour to train with him. It would be worth it if you had the money, but. The idea is to put the other guy away fast. Not training for the Olympics, training for the street. I don't know if Bruce Lee had this mindset when he first came to um, America. I think he was still more of a Wing Chun guy. One Jack Man, he's on a pilgrimage to okay. check out Kung Fu in America. So this movie looked like it's going to take the narrative of the whole fight that Bruce Lee supposedly had with Wong Jackman after he was already training American uh, students and stuff. I'll talk more about it after the trailer's over. You finally met a living legend. You see me every day? I was talking about Wong Jackman. So, Shaolin sent Wong Jackman to spy on you. Why else would he be here? Tell me about Sifu Lee. He has big plans for Kung Fu. He's making a movie, and he wants to get into TV. In Northern Shaolin, Kung Fu is about self-discipline and self-discovery. You've been training with Wong. A man can't have two masters, Steve. What does Sifu Lee teach you? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> That's kind of a taboo. You can't be training with two different masters. Did you come to offer me enlightenment? Your technique is impressive, but it has one limitation. What? You. You want to show me what you mean? I have come to accept. I can kind of picture Bruce being a little bit cocky when he was younger. They like Wong and Hong Kong. Sure. On the street, never bet against the street. You tell Wong, no rules, no whole spot, no limits. You guys kill each other. Ah! 
Now there are witnesses for this fight. I don't think they were in an abandoned building just going at it. <laughs> okay, I see witnesses in the back. I'm the future. You're the past, and you know it. What are you standing and fight? Now you begin to exceed your limits. What limits? Okay, so just from my impressions from the beginning, um, it seems like this video or this movie is trying to go after the whole narrative of Bruce Lee and Wong Jack Men about the fight that they had. Um, anybody that don't really know the backstory, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you already know the backstory. But for those that don't, um, when Bruce Lee first came to America, he was training pretty much white students. I mean, anybody really. It was anybody and the Chinese community didn't like it because they felt that martial arts was something that only Chinese Americans or Chinese people were to be taught. And they didn't want any outsiders getting taught martial arts where Bruce Lee was taking on anybody that was willing to, you know, listen. And so he was given an ultimatum that he would have to fight against Wong Jack men um, and if he won, he would be able to continue training whoever he wants. But if he lost, then he would have to close his schools. And I believe he couldn't train anyone. Either he couldn't train anyone again or he couldn't train non-Chinese. Uh, and the story goes that Bruce Lee and him got together. They fought. And the fight was over quick. Like, Bruce Lee took the dude out fast. And... Matter of fact, they said the fight only took a few minutes. And they said the only reason why it took a few minutes was because the guy spent the, most of the fight running. So Bruce Lee had to chase him down and stuff. And Bruce Lee, you know, finally took him down, made him submit and everything. And Bruce Lee was so upset over the fact that the fight took so long because he was chasing the guy and couldn't get to him. And he said that it was because of his style, the Wing Chun he was using. There was too many limitations to it. It had things he couldn't really do in it. So that's what inspired him to make Jeet Kune Do his own personal martial art that he used until he passed away. And so it's going to be interesting exactly what they're going to try to do to make this fight, you know, uh, entertaining. Because like I said, Bruce Lee took the, dude, took the dude down pretty quick. And that'll make for a very anticlimactic ending for Bruce Lee to do all this talking and training and them going back and forth only for him to take him out after like a minute or two. So... They're obviously going to have to take liberties with the story and, you know, like not even go with what exactly what actually happened. But um, it looks interesting. I'm going to go ahead and try to give it a look and see what it has to offer. Um, if I can, I'm going to try to make a movie review of it. I might actually have to play the ending of it again just to see when it comes out because I didn't really pay attention to if it had a, a date on it or not. Um, by the time I upload it, of course, I already know, but, yeah. Anyway, that was my reaction to this video. Um, let me know if you guys are Bruce Lee fans. Um, let me know some, you know, what Bruce Lee might have done for you as a person, because um, Bruce Lee is the one that really got me into fitness and martial arts and everything like that. Um, he's probably, like, my first big role model. Like, I was into Muhammad Ali... Bruce Lee, there was a weird period where I was in the Hulk Hogan, but yeah, Bruce Lee was, is still like the biggest inspiration behind me, um, it's really like Bruce Lee, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, those three people, I know it's a weird ass combination, but that's my inspiration as far as role models, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go with that, that's been my reaction. This is, I was about to say Omni Dragon, but no, this is the Black Senpai. And I'm going to give you guys the deuces. Be sure to subscribe. Jesus.